Hi everybody, Steven Flag here, and welcome back to a brand new mod pack, a brand new adventure, and brand new headaches. Actually, this pack is supposed to be a lot of fun, and that's why I specifically chose this pack, because we've been grinding a lot on Divergence and Forever Stranded Lost Souls, and I wanted a pack that was just going to be fun, but still gave me a bit of a challenge. So here we are on Feed the Beast Sky Adventures. This pack is not only designed to be fun, but it gives you the challenge of a sky block at the same time. Now, I did not do a whole lot of searching around. I played this pack for about 20 minutes before I decided this is the one we're going to do. And uh, I, I wanted to be surprised about things along with you guys. Uh, so you're going to have to excuse the fact if I don't understand how to use some of these mods. Uh, I, I would suggest that a lot of you go out and anybody watching download this mod pack off the off the uh, Twitch launcher and uh, play along with me because I'm probably going to need a lot of help here. But the main goal with this pack, you old school Minecrafters are going to love this. It we have the old cheat machine back in this, the old transmutation table and the EMC machine. Now, for those of you that don't know what that is, every item in Minecraft has an EMC value. Uh, well, most items have an EMC value. The transmutation table allows you to take an item and say, I'm just going to, for an example, I'm going to say, say gold has two. Gold has a lot more EMC than that, but say gold has two EMC, and I need some dirt, which costs one EMC. Well, I can cash in my gold and create two dirt, because I'll have, I'll have two EMC. You see what I mean? It's a, it's a nice trade system. Now, this pack also has a whole lot of different mods in it. So uh, we're probably going to spend this first episode taking a look at the mods, and then we're going to get to doing some work next episode. So we'll take a look around the block here. Looks like we've got some, uh, some re what is that, reinforced dirt brick fences. Okay, we got a tree here. It says the giving tree. So we're going to have to be sure to get some saplings off of that for sure. This is the old fishing hole, and there is no water. We've got some concrete down here, which is great. Maybe I can do a uh, do a uh, cobblestone generator. Well, actually, I kind of like to fill that with water if I can. But I'm going to need buckets, which means I'll need iron. So, okay, let's not, <laughs> let's not thinking about this. Uh, okay, we got a bear trap sitting here. I'm, I'm sure I can pick that up later. That'll actually just hold a mob in place. Uh, oh, God, look at this, guys. Look at this. Then up here we've got like a little temple. It says temple of some kind. Temple of some kind. And we have a grave here. So just, just before we look at this grave, let's take a look at what it gave us in our inventory. We've got the Acacia Tome, which I believe is, uh, yep, that's what it is. It is every single instruction manual for every mod that's in here. So we have actually additions. Uh, the Sanguine Scient... Sci <laughs> the Sanguine Scientium. Uh, from Blood Magic. We've got the Lexica Batania from Batania, and uh, after the last mod pack, I don't even want to open that book. I had about 3,000 of those. Uh, we've got Cooking for Blockheads 1. We've got the Draconic Evolution Information Tablet. Extra Utilities 2. Forestry. The Engineer's Manual for Immersive Engineering. Industrial Foregoing Manual for Industrial Foregoing. RF Tools. RF Tools. Materials and You for Tinkers. Okay, we're going to have to get into Tinkers right away as well. We're probably going to be using wooden uh, wooden and stone <laughs> tools for a while. Then we have the Forge Lexicon from Thermal Foundation. The Digital Guide from Valkyrie Lib, whatever that is. The XNet Manual from whatever XNet is. And that's it. So let's, uh, how do I close? Okay, the Acacia Tome. Uh, I, uh, let's test this for a second, guys, because I'm not sure. Let's, okay, we just turned it into the Actually Editions Manual. And now how do I turn it back into the Acacia Oh, okay, I just uh, left click and it turns back to the Acacia Tome. And then here we have our quest book. So let's take a look at how the quests work in this pack. You're going to love this, guys. Oh. <laughs> here we go. So these are our quests. These are our quests. I'm Canadian, guys. I'm sorry. Um, <clears throat> pardon me. I've got a bit of a cold today, guys. So uh, this is uh, our getting started. This is our first tab. Now, as you can see, uh, money. So cash is handed out from completing goals in this book. Save your cash to buy items from the currency tab in this quest book. Some items bought can only be obtained from cash. Some can also be crafted. So spend your money wisely. So everything we do is going to require 
Bunny, which is a little different, but it's that's kind of neat. I, I think this is going to be a lot of fun, guys. Uh, one of the first things it asks us to do is to uh, create a wallet to carry our money around in. So you see, uh, this act, there is a quest structure, but it's not going to be sitting here helping me say all, all along the way, saying, now you need to make this, now you need to make this. That's what I need you guys out there for. <laughs> So uh, you can see it goes on. We're gonna we're gonna get uh, an X Nilo Project E. So we've got sieves, some crooks, some hammers, some string mesh, all this stuff that we were doing in the last mob pack as well. So I shouldn't have any problems with that. Uh, wooden barrel. We're probably gonna want to collect up right away so we can uh, collect water, uh, dust, and create dirt. Uh, there's our transmutation table right there, guys. Uh, fishing. We don't have any water yet, but we'll be able to catch fish. Water eggs. So, guys, this pack has chickens. So you will get water chickens, lava chickens, gravel chickens, clay chickens, and you can you can uh, uh, breed your chickens to create whole new chickens. And what they will do is lay eggs. So a water chicken will lay water eggs, which will give me one block of water. You, you, see, you see where this is going? This is God. This pack is going to be fun, guys. <laughs> what is this stuff? Uh, dolls. Oh, is that from one of those, uh, those weird gypsy mods? Uh, <laughs> so then we've got our weapons. It shows all, all the armor that we can buy and uh, uh, weapons, flux magnets and things. So this is tool forge. Oh, the slime sling is here. Are we ever not using a slime sling, guys? Not on, not on a skyblock. Nope, sorry. Uh, metals. So we've got all of our metals here. Food. So cooking for blockheads, yada, 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 all these things. Chickens! So as I was t as I was saying with the chickens, we've got like cactus, chickens, uh, oh, okay, those are eggs. Red chicken egg, blue chicken, you can dye your chicken eggs. Uh, I'm going to have to look up how to play with the chickens mod, but it looks really cool. There's a hen house, nesting pen, you can put them inside of a nesting pen and put a hopper underneath, and a chest. So they'll lay eggs and the hoppers will go, uh, they... You know how that works, hoppers and chests. Uh, chicken feeder, nursery monitor, liquid fertilizer. That's chicken poo. All a bunch of chicken poo. So we go on to storage solutions, and that is, holy cow. Some of this stuff, guys, I have no idea what this is. Another reason I chose this mod pack, guys, is because your quest rewards, they'll give you crazy things for quest rewards. Like, uh, I could open up my quest reward thing and get a 64K crafting storage thing. So, uh... I, this, just good. this whole pack is going to be just randomly exciting. Uh, so we've got our mob farms and all of our mob things for collection here. Oh, there's some, some vector plates. I didn't get to play a lot with that on the last uh, pack. Here is our tech tree. Take a look at that! Holy old crap there, boys. And our magic tree. And then we've got the automated ore collection. Nature's compass. Nature's compass. Isn't nature's compass the uh, Twilight Forest? Isn't that a Twilight Forest thing? Is Twilight Forest in this? Uh, I, I don't know all the mods that are in this pack, guys. Uh, so then we've got the Carpenter and all this stuff for bees. So it looks like, guys, you're going to get your wish and you're going to get to see Stephen Flagg do some bees. But I think this pack is going to be fun enough that the bees are just going to be the only real aggravating grind that we're going to have to do. Now, these are all just extra quests and these are repeatable. So UU Matter, Honey, Sludge, Ethanol, Witch Water, Refined Canola, Creosote, Liquid XP, Green Colored Comb, Empowered emerald, em em Emeratic Crystals, 16 times Overclocker Upgrades, Transposition Reagents, High Voltage Solar Arrays, and Draconic Reactor Cores are completely repeatable quests that give us a thousand bucks. Is it worth a thousand dollar investment to potentially make a lot more? Oh, I invest a thousand dollars and I could make more? Damn right, we're going to try that. And then the final tab in our quest book here, guys, is the reward store. So this is stuff that I can purchase with the money that I receive from my quests. So, for example, th this costs $5. This is a log chicken. He lays oak wood. Then we got a sand chicken, flint chicken, soul sand chicken, nether quartz chicken. And then we've got basic things like experience. We got worms for 20 bucks. There's uh, charge eight charge surge quartz crystals for 30 bucks. Uh, there's an ender lily. It's like uh, it's a whole lot of cool stuff here. What is that? A quantum battery that costs 1,500 dollars. Uh, oh, a creative flux capacitor is 10,000 dollars. A creative energy source is 15,000 dollars. It requires 22 100 dollar bills, 64 100 dollar bills, and 64 100 dollar bills. Yeah. 
Uh, the Everlasting Guilty Pool. That's for Batania, I do believe. So yeah, it looks like you get down to the end here and you get all of this creative stuff, which looks fantastic. So that is our quest book, guys, and it is nighttime. And I'm hoping... Hit F7 here, because we were talking and... Okay, we do still have a few areas here, but I don't think mobs will spawn this close to me. Okay, so let's uh, let's continue looking around here, guys. Temple of some kind. We've got this thing, T-Fox 83. Oh, well, I'm breaking that. Okay, I want to break this. Oh! Oh! Well, what do we have here, guys? A freaking Philosopher's Stone. Is this the... So a Philosopher's Stone, if I remember correctly, allows you to uh, change the... change things. You can change, like, dirt into stone. Oh, wait, yeah, right there. Oh! I just changed that dirt into sand! And now it's grass! Okay, let's leave that, let's leave that there, and then we can create another piece of grass. So that's what a Philosopher's Stone does. So we've already, early on, got one of these hardcore freaking Philosopher's Stones, guys. I can't change concrete. I can change dirt, though. No. Can't change that. No, can't change anything else other than the... I can't even change coarse dirt. It's got to be vanilla dirt. Okay, so that's fantastic. I'm, I'm really glad to have that. And... Let me break this. Don't need that sign. Oh, no, I don't want to... I didn't want to place the sign. Holy crap! <laughs> I, that just looked really weird. I thought, I, I thought, what's going on here? That, why does that look so different? Like, see when I went over it? It changed to painted wooden trap door. So we got something hidden down there, guys. For, first off, let me mention, holy crap, that's round. There's a round thing in Minecraft. Okay, anyhow, let's, uh, let's take a quick look down here, guys, see what we can see. Oh, it's really dark down here. Oh, it's a chest. A sky scone chest that has all of the uh, the presses that we need for uh, for later on. That's fantastic. We're gonna leave that right there. Oh wow, we gotta be careful because we are in a sky block, and I'm sure that okay, yeah, that drops right into the void right there. And they put a piece of uh, cobweb there so that when you take your first step, you slide evilly into the void. So let's just get the heck out of dodge here, guys. Let's just... Oh. Uh, uh. Why can't... I? Hey, let me out. Let me out! I want out! It won't let me out because of the trap door. Ah. <sighs> Are we having issues already? We're 13 minutes into episode number one. And we're already having problems. Let me, just let me out. Just let me out! Let me out of the hole! I just want out of, I just want out of the hole! Just let me get out of the hole! Alright, that's it. Take that. And, there! I'm out of the hole. Fantastic. Uh, so, I, should I put that back now? Yeah, let's put it back down, just for now. All right, so let's take a look at our quest book, and let's let's see if we can do anything uh, early on here. We're, we're likely, we're going to have to cut that tree down, because we're going to need some wood. I, oops, I did not want the acacia tome. So we go to getting started. Money, money, money. Uh, cash is handed out, yada, yada, yada. Is, do I already have this? Oh, 16 oak wood planks will give me, okay. So it looks like we are going to have to cut this tree down, guys. Let's get ourselves a sign. And uh, let me just check the controls here, because I want to see if Vein Miner is on. Um, let's search by key, because it's usually tilled, isn't it? No, it's like... Uh, no, tilt. I don't know. I don't know. Let's just. I. 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 I was pretty sure the vein miner is on in this pack. All right. Let's just. Uh, let's just see. If I hold down tilt, 
while I break this. No, I didn't get anything. I didn't get anything for that. If I try it again. Oh, it is! Oh! So vein miner's on, guys. Okay, let's be very careful here. Let's go around and please, please, please give me some... Give me some saplings. Please give me some saplings. While we're waiting, let's make ourselves a crafting station. Is that one? Oh, there we go. Oh, we got a couple. Okay. All right, we're all set. Now we're gonna have to. We're gonna hope we're gonna get a whole lot of those because we're gonna have to make ourselves a, a barrel to make some more dirt. Oh, look, there's lots dropping. So for now, let's drop this. Who? Just drop it right there. And we're probably going to need. Well, it wanted me to get 16 pieces of oak wood planks, right? And an apple! Oh, that's fantastic. We're going to need food. Food is important. I almost went off the edge there. Guys, expect to see me go off the edge a few times in this pack. I have turned uh, keep inventory on because you, you guys know how I play. Uh, I, I'm going to die a lot. I am going over that edge quite a few times. And the last thing I need is to lose my freaking quest book. So forget that. Keep inventory is on. I also turned mob griefing off so that I, I wouldn't be walking along a bridge and a creeper would blow a bridge up on me. Or something like that. Call it cheating if you want, but I'm, I'm here to have some fun today, guys. I'm here to have some fun on this pack. I don't. I haven't had a lot of. I, I, I mean, I've had fun on the other packs, but this, this one's going to be the most fun for me. So okay, so we've got 16 oak wood planks. We got it. Two one dollar bills. Got them. And is that it? Did we get it? Did it? Did I get it? Uh, do I? Ha oh, I do. I have the money. Two one dollar bills. Making moolah. Okay, let's. Uh, as soon as that all fades away, I'm gonna plant another tree. So, uh, quest book again. Move on. A wallet. A place to store all your cash. Now, a wallet costs one dollar. So I buy a wallet for one dollar, and then I'll still have one dollar to put in. So there we go. Got ourselves a wallet. Now how do I put money into the wallet? Do I just do this? Yep. <laughs> Look at that. One dollar. It even gives me a total. <laughs> so I have a wallet. <laughs> that is so cool, guys. Let's uh, make ourselves a chest. Because oh. we're going to need a place to put stuff. Uh, maybe we should make a double chest. Just to be safe. Alright, so where are we going to put our double chest? Let's not kill that dead bush yet, because I may actually... I, I don't know what I'm going to be able to use in this pack. A dead bush may be usable, like, to turn into something else. Uh, okay, let's, uh, let's break this piece of concrete. I need to make myself a pickaxe, guys. I really need to make some tools. We'll do that next episode. Okay, so we're going to go boom, boom. Uh, I'm going to drop the signs in there because we're not going to need those. Uh, let's put our acacia tome in there for now. I'm going to put... There we go. We'll just go with one. I'm going to hold on to these apples. And, of course, we're going to hold on to the quest book. And this, and we'll hold on to our wallet, too, just for the heck of it. More! More saplings! Yes, many more saplings for us. Oh, oh, looking so good. Let's... Plant another tree. And check our quest book again. So we have claimed our wallet. So the next step is four oak wood will give us a slime tool rod and a loot crate. Oh, guys, yes, here we go. So we do that. We take our slime tool rod and our loot crate. 
Oh, slime tool rod, guys. So we're going to have to start working on some tinkers next episode. Uh, I'm going to drop half of these in here just to be safe. And let's see what this loot crate does for us. What did it give us? What did it give us? 16 steak! 16 steak! Already, this pack is about 150,000 times better than Forever Lost Souls. 150,000 times better. Lost Souls never gave me steak.